Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about measuring heat quantity, sensible heat versus latent heat, heat generated by people surrounding air condition and factors affecting human comfort. In the IP system of units, the unit for measurement of uh, quantity of heat is the British term unit B. So BT is uh, defined as the quantity of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one pound of uh, water by one degree Fahrenheit. Similarly, in the international SI system, heat quantity can be expressed using the unit kilojoule but for measuring heat kilocalorie is used so a kilocalorie is defined as the amount of heat energy required to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree celsius so one kilocalorie is equal to 4.19 kilojoule. In the heating and cooling application, the rate of heat transfer, that's the quantity of heat that flows from one substance to another within a given period of time. So this rate of heat flow is commonly expressed in terms of uh, BTU per hour, which is the quantity of heat in BTU that flows uh, during a period of one hour. Similarly, in the SI system of uh, unit, the rate of heat flow is uh, expressed in terms of kilowatts so one kilowatt is equivalent to one kilojoule per second and one kilowatt describes the quantity of heat in kilojoule that flows from one substance to another during a period of one second so the rate of heat flow may often be expressed in terms of watts so 1 kilowatt is equivalent to 1000 watts. The next, sensible versus uh, leading heat. So the process of uh, comfort eating and air conditioning is just simply transfer of energy from one substance to another. This energy can be classified as either sensible or leading heat energy. So sensible heat is heat energy when added to or removed from a substance result in a measurable change in dry bulb temperature. And leading heat is the heat which can be defined as the Hidden heat energy that's absorbed or released when phase of a substance is changed. For example, when uh, water is uh, converted to steam or when steam is converted to water. So changes in the leading heat content of a substance with the addition or removal of moisture. The next one, uh, heat generated by pupil. Human body that normally generates more heat than its need. So this heat is uh, transferred by convection and radiation to the environment. Surrounding the body, the average adult seated and working generates uh, axis heat at the rate of uh, approximately 450 BTU per hour equivalent to 132 
what so about 60% of this heat is transferred to the surrounding environment by convection and radiation and 40% is uh, released by perspiration and respiration so as the level of uh, physical activity increases the body generates uh, more heat in proportion to the energy expanded when engaged in heavy labor as in a factory for example the body generates 1000 450 BTU per hour equivalent to 425 watts so at this level of activity the proportion reverse and about 40% uh, of this heat is uh, transferred by convection and radiation and 60% is uh, released by perspiration and respiration surrounding air condition in order for the body to feel comfortable the surrounding environment must be of suitable temperature and humidity to transfer this axis heat so if the temperature of the hair surrounding by the body is too high the body feels uh, uncomfortably warm and it responds by increasing the rate of respiration in order to increase the heat loss through evaporation of body moisture additionally if the surrounding air is too humid the air is nearly saturated and it's more difficult to evaporate body moisture and if the temperature of air surrounding by the body is too low however the body loses more heat than it can produce the body responds by constricting the blood vessels of the skin to reduce heat loss and the last one factors affecting human comfort are such as dry bulb temperature, humidity, hair movement, fresh air, clean air, noise level, adequate lighting, uh, proper furniture and work surfaces. The term uh, comfort is uh, often used to define a broader set of uh, conditions that just temperature and humidity so air movement adequate fresh air cleanliness of the air noise levels in the space adequate lighting and proper furniture and proper furniture and work services are just a few of the other variables that that contribute to making a space uh, comfortable for its occupants so in this tutorial uh, we'll only focus on aspects of thermal comfort so thermal comfort depends on creating an environment of dry bulb temperature, humidity and hair motion that is uh, appropriate for the activity level of uh, people in this space. This environment allows the body's rate of uh, heat generation to once with the body's rate of uh, heat loss.